day. Sam Bo here. Just an update on one of our ventures. Earlier this year we started breeding rabbits for meat for ourselves. Uh, we've settled on Rex and we've also got some meat mutts as well. We've also ventured into pets, we sell a few pets to help cover, offset the cost of the feed. Hopefully we'll end up with three rabbits. We've had a couple of setbacks with rabbit hemorrhagic disease but for now we're, we've managed to get through that. But what we're about today, we're just going to show a quick video just to show off how to sex rabbits. Angela had raised rabbits in Kentucky before she came to Australia and she's taught me how to sex rabbits. So now hopefully I can pass that knowledge on to some others. So this is our adult Rex Buck, David Hasselhop. And he's nice and calm for now. It'll probably change when I turn him over. But he's an adult. He's our only surviving adult buck at the moment. But we'll ha turn him over and we'll have a look so you can see what an adult buck's genitals look like. He's not too bad today. Okay, so we get one finger fore and aft at the vent area and we push down and you can see the penis exposed. Of course, you can see his testes as well. So it's quite plain to see that we have a male rabbit. So finger fore and aft, push down, expose the genitals. There you go. When we did the first take on this a couple of days ago, his penis was poking out a good, what, inch and a half. Yes. Morning, little bugger. All right, so this is Lola. She is a Dutch marked meat mutt, basically. We don't know what parentage is. But she's a Vienna carrier. You can see that by not just the colouring, but her blue eyes. So we're going to keep her and we're going to breed a Vienna marked buck to her and we'll hopefully end up with some blue eyed white babies. We're hoping to breed our own line of blue eyed white babies. Now of course she's not Rex, but not too worried about being Rex on it. Come on. She doesn't really want to play this game so we'll do it quickly. Finger four and a half. You can see the slit there. As we push down, we explode the boulder there. She's not her usual calm self at the moment. So that's it. And now we go on to part two of where we will show you the um, juveniles and then the babbits. Speaking of our pets, these are our mini lops. We had more, but we lost them to rabbit hemorrhagic disease. We lost our buck, we had a beautiful harlequin buck and he was killed. It, it vaccinated but it still got him. So one of these is bound to be a buck. <laughs> I'd really like for that broken black one. It's got a little brown on it too though. Yeah I know a bit of brown on its ears. It's a little tricolour. Maybe that grey one. We've sold mini lots before for eighty dollars. So we know they can sell but we're just hoping we can sell enough of these to cover the cost of feed for a while. This is Han Solo. And I call him Solo because he's the sole survivor of a litter of 10 killed by rabbit hemorrhagic disease. He lost his mama and his papa as well. So, we'll get in there, get him on his back. Finger fore and aft. And we push down. See the little donut there where we expose the penis. Alright, so that's a juvenile male. Not as prominent as the adult male. We'll go have a look at a juvenile female now. Alright, this is Khaleesi because she's a survivor of the Khaleesi virus as well. She is. What is she? She's mini lot Rex Cross, isn't she? I believe so, yes. Yeah. Alright. Finally got hold of her. Again, finger fore and aft, we expose the vulva. 
juvenile female. That's how she's looking. All right, just again, finger fore and aft, and expose it. All right, now we'll do some kits, five week old kits. They're a little bit more difficult. Kits can be sexed at a fairly young age, but I'm no good at it. Generally, from about three to four weeks, I can manage. This is our booted black otter. You see his Vienna mark. I'm keeping him. I'm happy to keep the Vienna gene. Okay, finger fore and aft. And we push down. You see a little donut there. And we can expose the penis. Come on, buddy, it's all right. All right, I'll grab the other black otter. I love the black otters. Yeah. Guess I think what? Just what? We're keeping both of them. We're keeping both of them. Alright, come on. Keep your butt. <laughs> you got water on her nose too. Been come twinking. On. Okay, finger four and aft. And you can expose the vulva. And you can see the definite shape difference there between the male and the female genitals. Alright, that's it. Hope you learnt something. Thank you for watching. And we'll talk to you in another video soon. Alright, after some what? Start over. Start over? Yeah. Why? What were you doing? Because it was like down here. I wouldn't pay attention. Sorry. We've also sort of ventured into selling them 